the fourth annual Westchester Green Business Challenge recognition event. So I'm Danny Glazer, and on behalf of my colleagues, Scott Fernquist and Yana Petrukova, and our partners, the Business Council of Westchester and Westchester County Government, we are so excited to celebrate here with you tonight. I want to begin by thanking the Crown Plaza, a longtime member of our program, for a spectacular green event. They are a true leader in the green hospitality industry. And last year they won an award from us in the water category. I want to thank our sponsors for this evening's event. They are our event sponsors, AKRF, Metropool, Strauss Paper, Heineken USA for the wonderful beer that you're drinking, for no Ricard for the wonderful wine that you're drinking, uh, Veritavision Photography and Green Guru Network, our media sponsor. Our wonderful program sponsors will be called up shortly to receive special awards. Uh, we are particularly grateful to our platinum sponsor, Con Edison, whose support since 2009 has helped us to grow our program to what it is today. So this has been an incredible year for the Westchester Green Business Challenge. There are 275 registered members of the program, 100 of which are being recognized here tonight for their leadership and active participation over the past year. This year we launched Westchester Green Business Certified uh, in January. You will meet this fantastic group of leaders and learn more about the program later on in the evening. But most importantly, we're here to celebrate you. We believe that we have reached a tipping point where green business is no longer the exception, but the norm. You in this room are leading the movement by taking actions and serving as role models for your industry peers. We can't wait to work with you in the coming year to help you along your journey. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce our wonderful partner, Dr. Marsha Gordon, the President and CEO of the Business Council of Westchester to continue the program. Thank you. Kate. Wow, what a great, what a great room. I was so excited when I walked in and heard the, the great buzz and felt the green in the air and all the good energy and clean energy. Um, welcome everyone to the fourth annual recognition event for the Westchester Green Business Challenge. It's so exciting to be here tonight with all of you. You are an incredible group of business leaders and you have all contributed to the tremendous progress we've made over the past years, and particularly the past year, through the Westchester Green Business Challenge. And again, to our host, the Crown Plaza, and to, and to the sponsors, we, we, we really, really thank you. And Jane from Con Ed, thank you so much. We have Pat, Patricia Mulqueen, Thank you for all that you do. We really, really appreciate it. Um, you have been the Green Business Challenge's platinum sponsor since 2010. We couldn't have done this without you. This is a partnership, and the partnership that exists here is, you know, everyone talks about a public-private partnership. This is a true public-private partnership. It's the best of government and a, a, a not-for-profit business organization and private business coming together to do something good for uh, good for the for the community at large, and so I'm very pleased to thank County Executive Rob Astorino, Deputy County Executive Kevin Plunkett, who'll be here later, um, Westchester County uh, Director of off the Office of Economic Development, um, Eileen Mildenberger, who's here tonight. Eileen, where are you? Great, thank you. And, and the uh, executive director of the county IDA, Jim Coleman, for their partnership on this program, as well as the entire green business team that has worked tirelessly to make, to make this effort such a huge success. You've already met Danny Glazer, who I have to say is unbelievable. She is knowledgeable, 
She brings people together, and she's a great leader. And she gives me terrific book recommendations. Um, very, very important. Um, Scott Fernquist, who is the leader from the county, who really helps drive the program, gets the word out, keeps our IT and the actual green business up, and is, is just a fabulous partner. And Jane Petrikova, did I say it right? Yana. Petrikova, sorry? Uh, Yana, Yana. Um, you know, I was thinking of Jane Skolnick, so uh, it was all, all, all good, all good days. Thank you, Yana, uh, for, all your, for all your great work. Um, again, this year has been a, a pivotal year for the Green Business Challenge. We've grown to over 275 diverse companies representing all industry sectors. We've launched Green Business Certified, a new program for business leaders ready to take their sustainability efforts to the next level. And you'll hear more about this later. Uh, honored by the League of Conservation Voters and recipient of the Green Award by the Morris Media Group. Renewed and attracted a record number of sponsorships. Thank you all. We've increased the program visibility. And by doing that, it's not about increasing our visibility. It's about creating a brand for Westchester County that we are a green county. That helps attr attract businesses, attract young people, keep businesses here. It's all about sustainability. We've hosted or co-hosted several successful educational events and webinars on important green business topics. And most important, we are poised for future growth. All of you in this room tonight are making a positive impact on the county's economic and environmental health. And I commend you for your commitment to sustainability and for making the environment a priority in your business decisions. You've realized that green business is good business. You are leading the way in Westchester, but also throughout the region, the state, and indeed the country. This program has truly become a model for other green business programs and is inspiring others to follow in your footsteps. Your impact extends well beyond our county. And tonight, we are thrilled to celebrate 100 Westchester businesses that are leading the way through their active participation in the Green Business Challenge, as well as several special award winners that we'll be announcing shortly. Um, I'm, of course, we're all here to enjoy the evening. And I'm here. Uh, to introduce, introducing my name, right? not yet, not yet. <laughs> to reintroduce um, Danny Glazer, who is going to say a few words on behalf of the Green Business Challenge and present our awards. So at this time, thank you, Marsha. That was wonderful. And at this time, what we'd like to do is um, present the sponsor awards. So the first award goes to our platinum sponsors, Con Edison, uh, Jane Solnick, and Patricia Mulqueen. Are you going to come up with Jane? Or <laughs> so, and Jane's going to Jane is going to say a few words. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so delighted to see such a large group here tonight. Um, as it was mentioned, Con Edison has been a sponsor of this program since the onset, I think, of it. And we have been actively involved and are delighted because it's an initiative that reinforces the message that Con Edison values, which is basically green programs that positively impact the quality of life for our businesses and our residents here in Westchester County. The Ch Green Challenge has provided an avenue for us, Con Edison, to share our energy efficiency programs. Programs that some of you in this audience tonight specifically have been able to take advantage of. Small businesses, we offer a program that you, if you, you can get a free energy survey and with it, if you decide to do some of the programs, we cover 70% of the cost. So talk to your 
neighbors and friends here because it's they will tell you it's a valuable program and we also have programs for you you all live in a home somewhere so we have programs for your residences as well you can get a free um, remote thermostat control for, that you can do from your iPhones and take care of your so you're not running air conditioning all day we're big believers in supporting the environment and keeping energy efficiency running and saving you all money so please take advantage of them we have people here in the audience tonight that from con edison feel free to approach them and we very much look forward to continuing our meaningful collaboration with the business council and the green business challenge thank you And now we would like to call up our silver sponsor, um, Jay Black from Rexin, a division of SL Grain. We would like to recognize our bronze sponsors um, and the Blue Book Construction Network. Rob Calmer, please come up. <laughs> Thank you for your support of our program. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, next is C.W. Brown, Renee Brown. It's a great support. We've held many events there as well. They're a lead platinum facility, an amazing company. Uh, Diamond Properties, Jim Diamond, come up for your this is for the sponsor award. Thank you. And you'll see more of them later. Uh, New York Presb Presbyterian Hospital, Doug McGrath. We love NYP Hospital, do lots of things with them. And uh, for no record, USA, Michelle Coppin. And Alma Kilkuli. Awesome, awesome people from Pernod. Hello. You guys go in the middle. You guys go in the middle. Look at all the colors we are. Yeah. What do you want? You want us in the middle? You know, are you in the middle? Yeah, yeah. you in the middle. <laughs> We so appreciate our sponsors, we really do, and I just want to give another round of applause because that's what supports this program. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure now to bring up uh, Renee Brown again from, the, uh, from CW Brown. Um, Renee, come on, come on up. But I want to tell you a story, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. and Molly. Most important, Molly. <laughs> Renee's husband, Charlie, was, chair was chairman of our board and was an absolute gem of a man and Molly's father and, uh, and a great friend, a great friend to us all. But what Charlie really taught me was the value of sustainability and green practices in terms of growing his business. And I'll never forget that day, Renee, when that solar system that was connected. And you were the first company, the you flipped the switch yeah. and the needle went backwards. <laughs> and we were all so excited. And it was very exciting. It was, it was, it was a leadership and really showing something. And 
So I'm very, very pleased to have you today to present the Charlie Brown Sustainability Award. And by the way, it's Renee's birthday. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> happy birthday, Renee. So the mic is yours. Thank you. I'm just going to say a few words real quick. Uh, are, are you going to put up who the winner is? Do they know who the winner is? Oh, I have to announce. I was very excited when I found out who was winning this okay. award. Uh, I was very excited when I found out who was winning this award uh, because we have a long um, connection ago, with history of this company. Um, many years ago, they actually presented us with that award. And we were so so proud and pleased to win that many years ago. We, they gave us the Contractor of the Year Award. And so the winner of this award and, and C.W. Brown have a long history. So I was very excited when Danny told me that that's who was chosen. And it's Rexon uh, Division of SL Green who's winning this award. And uh, Jay Black, where are you? Oh, there you are. I can't think of anyone more deserving. Jay has worked so, so hard. This, uh, this whole initiative means so much to him, and there's nobody more deserving than Rexon. And we're happy with our long connection to be giving them this award. So thank you. <laughs> Charles W. Brown Jr. Sustainability Award presented to Rexon, a division of S.L. Green, for a visionary leadership and commitment to sustainability, June 5, 2014. Uh, Renee, thank you very much for that uh, introduction and offering us this award, and also thank you to the Business Council, as well, as well as the Westchester Green Business Challenge. This has been a very exciting program that we've been embarking upon for the past seven years. Something that I personally had no delusions of grandeur when I first started it. I actually thought of it as just a chew toy to keep my job interesting. But as it turned out, I found out that it could actually be a very lucrative thing, not just for myself, but for the company. And, you know, a lot of people and companies use a lot of different metrics and measuring sticks to weigh their success. And I really have to say that this award in particular was something that when I found out that we were being recognized with, it really meant something. Uh, I remember way back when, before, when you were go deciding to go for a uh, certification, Charlie secretly alluded to me that this was going to be happening, although I don't think it was so secret because I think he was telling pretty much everybody he <laughs> could find. And to be recognized and equated with that means a lot personally for me and I know for the company, so thank you and also thank you for everyone else tonight for participating in this program. This is something that I know Danny, Scott, we've been working on together for a long time, thank years, you. and uh, please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure to introduce uh, someone who is very special very supportive of this program and a business in Westchester County, our Deputy County Executive, Kevin Plunkett. Good evening to everybody. Um, I can't tell you how special it is for me to be here and particularly to follow Renee uh, on the uh, Charles W. Brown Sustainability Award, which uh, Rexon uh, received. Um, I, I had the pleasure of meeting Charlie and working with him and working with his team. And, and what, a, what a great tribute to Westchester County and a great tribute to the company, Renee, for, for all that uh, you have done to start the momentum here in Westchester County for this type of an event. Um, Rob Astorino is unable to be here tonight, but. Uh, it's my great honor to represent him. Uh, first, a few thank yous to Crown Plaza, uh, our host tonight, uh, to Con Edison for all their support of the program. I, I heard Jane Solnick uh, a few minutes ago. Um, I also want to thank Scott and uh, Danny for all that you've been doing for this program. This is a program that involves our businesses from the smallest businesses, which Rob Astorino said in his uh, State of the County address, the Blue Pig, I think, up in Peekskill, 
to uh, New York Presbyterian Hospital, which has 800 employees here in the county. And it's a business, uh, it's a project and a program that involves uh, the future, sustainability. So Westchester County is very proud to be part of this program, to support the program, and Rob Astorino and our administration is very proud to be supportive of it. The future of our country, our county, requires responsibility when it comes to sustainability, whether it be the small businesses or the big businesses, whether it be the homeowners uh, or the county office buildings. And we are all working together to reach that goal. And, and because of the Business Council and Dr. Marsha Gordon's uh, great leadership, uh, we are making great strides in Westchester County. So on behalf of our team, I see many of our team here tonight uh, supporting this uh, great event for the Westchester uh, Business Council. And for all of us, thank you for all you're doing. Please keep up the good work. And next year, we'll have more companies involved so the uh, program will even be more of a success. Congratulations to all the honorees tonight. Uh, you all deserve it. And uh, we appreciate all of the efforts that are being made. So thank you very much. And Marsha, thank you. Thank you, Kevin, very much for those remarks. So it's my pleasure to move on now to the presentation of six special awards for outstanding achievement in each of the environmental areas we focus on in our program. As many of you know, we are a comprehensive holistic program. We focus on various aspects of sustainability and not just one. So the areas, the, the award categories tonight are outreach and organizational commitment, energy, <clears throat> waste management and green products, transportation, land use and water resources, and so we're really delighted to be honoring exemplary companies from our program in each of these categories tonight. So our first award is in the area of organizational commitment and outreach. This award recognizes one member of the Green Business Challenge that has exemplified the organizational commitment that is required to create an effective environmental sustainability program. You might ask, what does that mean? This means putting policies in place, sustainability policies, engaging all employees in your organization on green efforts, and implementing effective communication strategies around the topic of sustainability. So I'm very pleased to announce that this year's award goes to Hendrick Hudson Library, and accepting the award is Library Director Jill Davis. <laughs> Jill? Is Jill here? Okay, I didn't see you, sorry. There you are. Sorry, take your time. While you're taking your picture, I'm just going to say that... Oops, sorry. Henrik Hudson Library is one of 38 libraries in the Westchester Library System. They are in committed to incorporating sustainability into the core of its operations and engaging all staff in the greening process. Since joining Westchester Green Business Certified, the library has established an internal green team expanded its website to report on green efforts, added sustainability topics to all staff meetings, and committed to an annual review process and presentation on progress toward meeting greenhouse gas reduction goals. Thank you. Thank you. Our next award recognizes one member of the Green Business Challenge community that has exemplified a commitment to energy reduction, conservation, and making the investments and improvements necessary to become an energy efficient operation. This year's award goes to Colonial Needle. Accepting the award is Jim Collingham, CEO of Colonial Needle. Jim. In case you don't know what Colonial Needle is, I'm going to tell you. Colonial Needle sells a broad range of needle brands, styles, and packaging and performs office, warehouse, and light manufacturing activities in their two adjoining buildings in White Plains, New York, which underwent a major energy upgrade in 2012. This included the installation of state-of-the-art windows, improved insulation, retrofitting with more efficient lighting, taking advantage of the many Con Ed utility programs, replacing an inefficient oil burning boiler, 
And they also installed a solar powered hot water system and they're currently in the process of installing solar PV to provide most of their electrical needs from the sun. Congratulations. The next award is in the category of waste management and green products and this award recognizes outstanding achievement that goes well beyond the three R's, recycling, reducing, and reusing. It covers waste management policies, e-waste practices, sustainable paper choices, and much, much more. This year's award goes to our good friend, Diamond Properties, and accepting the award is Diamond Properties CEO, Jim Diamond, and Jill Ortiz, who is the Vice President of Finance and Accounting. From recycled paper products to solar panels to green cleaning products to electric cars, Diamond Properties makes new advances every month toward building more sustainable office spaces in Westchester County. Diamond Properties has implemented a comprehensive waste management program. This includes tenant and custodial training, as well as innovative partnerships to collect e-waste and other hazardous items. Diamond Properties is also a pilot member of Westchester Green Business Certified. Congratulations. Congratulations again. Now my colleague, Yana Petrokova, is going to announce the winners of our, the next three awards. Okay, so moving to our next award, um, it recognizes an outstanding achievement in the area of transportation. This includes carpooling and commuting programs, fleet and fuel choices, telecommuting policies, and much more. This year's award goes to New York Presbyterian Hospital, Westchester Division, and accepting the award today is Doug McGrath, General Services Director, and Adam Bartlett. Communi uh, congratulations. New York Presbyterian is one of the largest hospital systems in the country and a key player in the region's healthcare sector, employing 800 people in Westchester alone. The hospital is an active member of Westchester Green Business Certified and has a comprehensive sustainability program in place that includes a number of transportation-related initiatives, including purchasing hybrid vehicles, partnering with Metropool, and even developing a web-based application that matches employees for carpooling based on where they live and work. Bike racks and showers have been installed to encourage biking to work, and investments in teleconferencing equipment have led to a significant reduction in employee travel. Okay, congratulations. Our next award is Outstanding Achievement in, in Land Use. This award focuses on smart land use decisions, reducing our, or eliminating the use of toxic chemicals and pesticides, supporting local agriculture, and keeping our water supplies healthy. Hilltop Hanover Farm and Environmental Center is tonight's award winner. And accepting the award today is Lucille Manns, Director of Hilltop Hanover Farm, and Helen Brady, President of Friends of Hilltop Hanover Farm. Congratulations. Hilltop Hanover Farm and Environmental Center is a working crop farm and environmental education facility located in Yorktown Heights, formerly a dairy farm and with roots dating back to the 1600s. Today, Hilltop Hanover acts as a regional education hub offering programs on healthy and sustainable food production, skills for small-scale suburban and urban farmers, and sustainable living practices for local communities. The farm features demonstration models for backyard farming, animal management, rainwater harvesting, organic composting, and green roof technology. Congratulations. <laughs> Our last award today of the evening is to honor a company that has exemplified outstanding achievement and leadership in the area of water resources. 
This award recognizes action to conserve, measure, and maintain the health of our precious water supplies. This year's award winner is the Double Tree Hotel in Terrytown, and accepting the award today is General Manager Rich Friedman. Congratulations. <laughs> Double Tree hotels and resorts across the United States, including in Westchester, are quickly aligning their business practices to meet the highest green standards found in the hotel industry. Double Tree Terrytown has embarked upon an ambitious program to track and reduce its environmental impact on all areas, including water. The hotel has installed smart valves to reduce water usage, train staff on detecting and reporting leaks, and committed to only purchasing water efficient appliances among other initiatives. Congratulations. Okay, so now the fun part about all of you. So we are now going to recognize all of the active members in this room of the Westchester Green Business Challenge. And what we did, something a little bit differently this year, we're starting with the top 10. And we're doing this in alphabetical order, So, but there are 10 companies in the room that actually were the highest scoring achievers um, based, on the, based on our scorecard. And they are the Crown Plaza White Plains, Diamond Properties, Double Tree Tarrytown, Jewish Home Life Care, Sarah Newman Nursing Home, Murphy Brothers Contracting, New York Presbyterian Hospital, Purchase College, Rexon, a division of SL Green, Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, and The Blue Pig. So those are our top 10 and like fabulous, fabulous job. And now I'm going to mention all of the active members, and I'm going to do part of the list and share it with Scott and Yana. Access Phys Physical Therapy and Wellness, Accorda Therapeutics, AKRF, Allied Converters, Atlantic Westchester, Automated Control Logic, Avon Products, B2B Cleaning Services, Blue Sky Wind, Bright Energy Services, C.W. Brown, Cascades Fine Papers, Chappaqua Wine and Spirit, Climate Change and Environmental Services, Colonial Needle Company, Computer Experts Group, Croton Energy Group, Dennis Naskin Architects, Divni uh, Tong Schwab, Dominican Sisters of Hope. The next companies to be recognized are Down to Earth Markets, Eco Bags Products Incorporated, Edith Macy Conference Center, Edward Jones, Encourage Handcrafted Yoga, EnviroCare Air Quality Restoration, Eventually Green, Friends of Hilltop Hanover Farm, Inc., Galen Beeler Design Studio, <clears throat> Go Saver, Green Eileen, Green Guru Network, Green Home Consulting, LLC, Green Team Spirit, Greenberg Nature Center, Habitat for Humanity of Westchester, Head Over Wheel Salon, Healthy Home Energy and Consulting, Heineken USA, Hendrick Hudson Free Library, Highland Builders Court, In Service Enterprise, Jacob Burns Film Center, JP Promotional Products Inc., Kajigam Design, The Petit Spa, Make Tech Better Inc., MC Energy Inc., Metro Pool 511 NY Rideshare, Montefiore Mount Vernon, and Montefiore New Rochelle. And before you clap, I just want to say, I mean, it's always amazing to me when we read the list of companies in our program because we're, we're going from a spa you know, in a small operation to major hospitals here in Westchester County, like Montefiore, which is expanding as we speak, to nonprofits and everything in between. So it's a really wonderful gathering and, and, and group of companies we're celebrating here tonight. So let's give them a round of, round of, a round of applause. <laughs> now Yana will come up. Moving on to the last section of our list. Mount Kisco Child Care Center, 
OLA Consulting Engineers PC, Paulding, Paldino Company CPA, Perno Ricard USA, Prindis Inc., Progressive Computing, PWR Search, Rex Rich Apartment Corporation, Robert A. Levine and Associates, RSHM Life Center, Centigram Wellness, Soms Technologies, Strauss Paper, Suburban Karting Company, Sun Blue Energy, Synergies Zero Waste Group, Teppan Cleaners, T-Town Lake Reservation, Thale Industries Inc., the Ajna Center for Wellness and Community, the Blue Book Building and Construction Network, the New Crystal Restoration Enterprises Inc., Thompson Partners, Verita Vision Photography, Vino 100, Whole Food Nutrition Coach, Wild Frog Studio, and New York International Agency. Please give them a big round of applause. And before I move on to the final part of our program, I also want to recognize, where's John Kravitz? Where are you, John? Hi, John. John is, um, works with the Business Council. He is our partner. Um, he's amazing. We work together really wonderfully and um, just appreciate all that you do for us and for the program. So thank you. So this, this is an exciting moment. We're actually going to call up every person in this room who is involved in Westchester Green Business Certified. So we'd like all of you to get up and come to the front of the room. And while they're doing that, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Westchester Green Business Certified. So last year at this very event, we announced that we were planning a new initiative called Westchester Green Business Certified. And this past, why isn't everybody up here? <laughs> so this past November, we held a launch event at CW Brown to introduce the program to many of you. And these 18 organizations signed on as pilot members. So as you can see from the slide behind me, they represent this incredible diversity that defines business in Westchester County. Most importantly, they have come together over one thing, which is sustainability. They have all worked hard over the past six months on their journey to certification. As each company becomes certified, they will be sharing their experience with you and serving as leaders and ambassadors in their industries and for the Westchester business community at large. Sarah, this is really exciting, so listen to this. Ceremonies, they don't even know this yet, will be held at each place of business upon achieving certification, allowing them to shine on their own turf and serve as role models for their own staff and for their community. So we're so proud of all of our member organizations and we look forward to collaborating for years to come because this relationship is just gonna go on and on. And please know that enrollment for the next round of certification is now open. And phase two will begin in September. So if you're interested in participating, we would love to have you do that. And um, you, I think you know where to find us. So now, this is exciting because we have breaking news. So Yana will announce the first two companies to achieve certification. Okay, um, I'm very honored to, uh, to announce today the first two companies that worked very hard to achieve the Westchester Green Business Certification, and those are Diamond Properties and the Blue Pig. Both of these companies represent the true leaders in sustainability, and we hope that they will be a great example for others to follow. So again, congratulations. So now this concludes our program for today. Um, I would like to ask everyone to wait, wait a few more minutes because we'll be taking a group photo. And after that, please enjoy the food and have fun. Thank you for coming today.